Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? We didn't get a chance to talk last week after they lost in Houston, and then they go absolutely lay an egg in in the dome against Jacksonville. The big question everybody has here, Sean, and we'll start with this, is is this meaning Derek Carr, Pete Carmichael, Dennis Allen, this Saint structure, is this salvageable? Are we talking on a temporary or the long term, Matt? I, 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 listen, Both? I, yeah, uh, um, salvageable is they're going to be in a fight. This team should have been the favorite to win the division, and they were, but they're not playing like it. Tampa Bay's taking care of some of their business. Atlanta's playing well. It, it's going to be. I, I would have thought that the Saints could have distanced themselves because while they still have a phenomenal defense, the inconsistencies. Matty, I was going back over. I watched after watching the game, uh, you know, this past week is going over the numbers. Just, you know, I, I think stats can be overrated, but there's some telling ones. And they, 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 you look at the stats. If you didn't watch the game, you'd say, oh, okay. They, they probably won the game. And then you look at field goals and you look at, not get to the, them kicking field goals and, you know, drop passes, which I'm sure we're going to get to, which I felt awful, yeah. awful for, for him. What, 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 I mean, he's been through more adversity than you can imagine. And then, um, where you, you don't run the ball, even though they ran it more than the opponent, they threw it 50 plus times. And that's the telling say, do you don't win very often doing it? Uh, it it's weird. They're there. It's a weird situation with a defense. And I look at Dennis Allen, I think Dennis Allen's, this is his last year as a head coach there, unless something changes drastically. I think Dennis Allen's a hell of a defensive coordinator. I think Josh McDaniels is a hell of an offensive coordinator. But there's a difference between being a great in-rhythm play caller or an X's and O's guy or a position coach slash coordinator play caller. Then there is the guy who may have done that to get to the head coach, but I'm so big on leadership and trust and Dennis is a good guy. Um, he, he is. But I think his specialty is dialing up defenses and holding the card. And sometimes there's disconnect for whatever reason. And Derek Carr is who he's been. Put up numbers, make some plays. Sometimes there's a little bit of an excuse. He's an upgrade at the position. But you're not winning a Super Bowl in, in New Orleans with this offense the way it is. So, yeah, I, I would have thought, and I hate saying this because I like Pete and I do like Dennis. And I think Derek Carr is a good player. But they're not getting you to February as a trifecta. They're just not. Now, the pieces of them, if you told me I had Ed Coach and Dennis Allen was my defensive coordinator and Pete was an assistant and Derek Carr was battling for the job and had really good players around him offensively and he didn't have to throw it 50 times, I I, I would think different that they could compete, but they're going to struggle to get out and win the division, even though their defense will keep them in it. And they'll have flashes of brilliance. I don't think that trifecta is going to be together when the season's over, if this trend continues they should be better than this, but you're not putting a ring on your finger if the, right now with this group, in my opinion. Then let me ask a point-blank question. And sure. You can take it wherever you want. What is wrong with Derek Carr? I don't think anything's wrong, Matty. I think this is who he is. I, as you know me as a real big time, and I think sometimes you can be stunned by what's happened in the past. I, I, I'll speak for myself. I and I'm not, I'm not Derek Carr by any stretch, but whatever it is along the way that stuns you um, in your physical, mental, emotional approach to the game, I think there is. And I think at times there's some built-in excuses. Um, and I do. As a Raider fan, I've studied every move Derek Carr's made. And I'm going to tell you, and I, I don't know if I've ever said this on this show, but I have a, a very a close friend who's been on staff that he's been on. He said Sean works his ass off, prepares, loves to play. He said, but you just keep an eye on him as the season rolls along in a game that of, of, of bigger magnitude. If he's getting hit early or it changes in, on the road in December, November gets hit, I said, you, he said, you'll see a different football player. And he saw a lot of him and he loves him, but he said, you'll see a different football player, meaning a guy that just might not like going through that. None of us do, but some excel through it. But whatever it is that, that, I think this is who Derek Carr is. I think he's a really good player. He's going to put up numbers. I think there's substance there, but it's not a deep pool. I think you can stand to your waist up, and he's going to. In some games, you're going to say, "Damn, come from behind through three touchdowns," and then you're going to scratch your head and say, "Why that decision? 
How come not this? Some guys, and that doesn't mean you have to be, we, we compare everybody to Mahomes and Brady, all these great players. Listen, some guys are built different. Everybody's not Shohei Otani or Jordan Alvarez. There, there's different guys. You can be good and still not be great or be a guy who's going to wear a ring. There's more guys live there where Derek Carr is than live where Mahomes and Burrow have been. Yeah. As a Raider fan, frustrated me at times. I don't think they upgraded their position this offseason either. I think Derek Carr would have been better for them. But what's better? Getting you hopefully to January and no further? I mean, we're what, Matty? Almost 10 years in? What are we, eight, nine years this, in this now? Is, this is his 10th season. It's, okay, so you tell me what, what, what trend's changing. I mean, the, the spots on, I mean, they may get smaller or bigger. They're, they're not going away. So he's got flaws. He's got some strengths. He can be accurate. He can be great late, but he also has that. There's a lot of distance between when he's not real good and when he is. Some of the great ones, I bet you can go through your all of Mahomes' games and say, okay, he didn't play real well in that one, but they, were, they still hung in there and had a chance. There's not many of them. I think there's too big a gap between great and average, and I like Derek Carr. I don't love him. I think he can get you to January, maybe if they play better offensively. I don't think he can get you to February here, Kansas City, Pittsburgh, Baltimore. I just don't think so. Pete's a good coach. Dennis is a good coach. None of them are going to be leading your team to February, but they're good at what they do when they specialize in what they do. But this is not a February setup with the way it is. So if you thought you were getting that with Derek Carr, you weren't. If you thought you were getting a good player who, in this division, a fairly weak one, you'd be in contention to win it, yes. But even if you win the division, I can promise you as I sit here now, the New Orleans Saints are not winning the Super Bowl this year. That is just a fact because there are certain things missing, and you and I both know it. There, um, No doubt. Look, I mean, the way I described it when they and signed I hate him, saying it, Matty. It's a hard game. It is, and it's, not, it's never personal for me. Hell, I, I think Derek Carr, I, I wish I had that kind of career. But my job is to tell you, you said, be frank about it. Yeah. I'm just telling you that when they go there, say, is winning a division enough for you guys? Is winning a division enough for Pittsburgh? Is winning a division, I mean, for Minnesota? I, I, you want, I can set your name, 15 cats that live right in the middle that you're going to be good with, but you're not going to, you, you, they're not getting fitted for a ring from, uh, what is it, Justin? Justin. <laughs> you, you, you're not getting that ring, okay? It's just the way it is. I mean, in the Sorry. NFL, they might go with Tiffany. That might be a little bit. There you go. <laughs> That's the, a guarantee, brother. <laughs> um, now, look, whenever they signed Derek Carr, Sean, I mean, my thing, uh, what I just said, I got called a hater for it, but I said, look, you're going to have a lower ceiling, but you're going to have a yep. higher floor. What do you want to yep. be? Do you want to win the division and get bouts in the wild card round, or do you want to try to win a Super Bowl? So the yep. the question moving forward is, Sean, they they can't they cannot off ramp out of this Derek Carr deal until 2026. So they are financially yep. burdened next Trapped. year and 25. So people here are asking, well, do you play Jameis? And I'm like, no, because you've got to try to find a way to make this work with Carr. And listen, Matty, uh, uh, we've had Jameis's conversation. What is he? And it's no disrespect to him. Listen, I'm I'm old man now. I'm removed from the game, and I have a lot of respect for that guy. He's got guts in the throw. We've had the conversation. He can rip it. But once again, where do you think you're going with him? Honest to God, yeah. you want, how many years has he been in the league now? He and Mariota came at the same time. Where do you honestly think you're going in New Orleans and Tampa? Where, where are you going with Jameis Winston? Maybe make an extra throw, but throw two picks. Maybe where he gets to the point, he's matured and he protects a little more, but takes away what we love about Jameis Winston is he, he works and, he'll, and, he, and he has guts to throw it into a tight window. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There's a, we, we, we use the word elite or that type quarterback. Listen, there's about four or five guys who sit in that class. Then there's a handful more who sit in the just below it class that are, that are really, really damn good, but not Mahomes or Burrow or even Lamar Jackson right now, the way he's playing. And then there's a bunch that are between 18 and 28. And then there's a couple that probably should be backups in a league. But I, I don't, I mean, this, you're right. They're strapped. Why would you go? You're getting the same guy just in a different wrapper, mm -hmm. a different jersey number. They're going to make throws. They're going to wow you with some things. And they're going to break your heart with others. So if the, now, could, could they win a playoff game? Sure. Kamara's a hell of a player. They've got good players. Defense alone could score twice and give you in position. But there's a culture, a DNA, a leadership, something different about those cats at the top. And we know exactly who and what I'm talking about. Then there's the other guys. I mean, I know people want to switch. Switch to what? 
Let's switch to what? You want to go from an eight and flip it upside down to the other side of an eight that looks the same? I mean, it's just a different wrapper. Good players. Neither, I mean, you're, neither one as a starting quarterback in this league will be wearing a ring because of them as a starter. Now, they may be a backup in year 14 and go win one. But if you think they're taking you from August to February and to be a champion, a Super Bowl champion, it is not happening. Pick any team you want and send Jameis there and Derek Carr. I don't care 49ers. Derek Carr ain't, ain't doing what Brock Purdy's doing. Mm. Jameis Winston's not taking Tampa this year any farther than, than Baker Mayfield is. Then the game difference. What I'm talking about, if you want to just talk about playoffs, we, I, I can name 20 guys that can get there. Hell, I quarterback the team into the playoffs. But I can tell you this. February is a different egg, buddy, and I can I go down the list and tell you who's not getting there. And I hate to say it, but the starting quarterback and the backup for you are not taking you to the promised land if the promised land's February. I think that reality is setting in all over here, Sean. And it's uh... and I, I I personally, when you went out and did it, I thought it was an upgrade. Matty, you asked me the first week of this year, right? It's an upgrade. Derek Carr's a good player, and now you got two really good players, starter and backup, and a and a versatile guy with Taysom Hill can do a lot, but. But when you pay that kind of money and you invest it in, I'm just trying to think, what, 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 what did they think they were going to do to the next level? Like I said, there's certain things. Now, Rich Gannon's like an average. Rich went around right. the league, went to Oakland, got it, and tore it up. Changed his game, became such a methodical, great pocket, accurate passer. And I was a teammate of Rich's tough and got after it. And, man, he took it to another level. But you got to have, if you don't have all the great defenses and another team, any mind, Brad Johnson, who made, heck, he, Brad went to a Pro Bowl, threw for 4,000 yards. Yeah. If you don't have all those elements and a guy who protects it, and Rich and Brad were two really good ones, different type players. I'm just using guys I played with, sure. elevated. But we're at a point now that, that to transform your career that late, unless you got, unless you're across the board, you're just so dominant, the quarterback's there to hold hands. Uh, it, 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 you're just not getting there. This is not the answer. If you plan on putting a ring on your finger, it's just think how tough it was with Drew Brees to get one Yeah, as good as that guy is. And he's a damn near Mount Rushmore guy. Mm. It, it, this is a different egg. And if you don't have that guy, you're going to end up as just a guy when it comes to 28 other teams in this league. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact and be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.